how cheap is Montenegro? Now, if you feel like you've heard that name before, but don't know where, here's a reference. 10 million was wired to your account in Montenegro, with a contingency for five more if I deem it a prudent investment. James Bond. So, I'm in Kotor, on the south side of Montenegro, and we're gonna explore the town and see how cheap things are, from hotel to food to travel, to amenities, things to do, clothes, um, haircuts, everything there is. Let's find out how much 50 euros can get us. So I've had a look on the menu and they've got egg omelette for 5 euros um, They've got sandwich and chips for about 6 euro 50 um, I've gone for pasta for 9 euros 20 Which is more or less the only vegetarian slash vegan thing on the menu Other than salad of course But um, 9 euros 20 I think that's about 8 pound or 7 pound something so it's decent let's see the size of it and then we can really decide <laughs> I love the look of this. Can I find out the price of this? Uh, you want to try? Or how many you want? No problem. No, no, no. <laughs> I can help you spend the money. Listen. <laughs> it depends on the price. I can't see the prices on them. This is 55 euro. Oh, it is with what? the hat. This one with the hat. 55 and euro? Yes, this is very good quality. It is cotton. Okay, which one of these is it? What's the cheapest one out of all of these? Out of you can buy for 35. This is, you know, it's come on, come. Okay, let me tell you the one I like, and then we can we can talk price. This one. This one. Yeah, I like this one as well, but I don't know about the you the can hood. Buy two, no problem for is there this one without the hood? This one without the hood. Uh, like this, I have without the hood. Okay, I'll do this one. How much is this one? 10 euros? Nothing for 10 euros. Uh, your size for 45 euros. 45 euros? Yes. Is, that, what, is this a big brand or? This is large. Big size you want? No, no. So how much are you saying? 45. Okay, so the law of bargaining says I need to take what you're saying and cut that in half. So that makes it maybe 22. And then I need to cut that in half again. And then I start from maybe 12 or 15. Yes. So if I offer 15, 15 euros for yes, this. Cannot, I didn't buy for 15 euros. Okay, so now we have somewhere to start bargaining from. So you've said 45, I've said 15. I now give you this one for 45 euros. 40, 44 euros, I cannot give it to you. 45 euros, I can give it to you. 45? Yes, 45. It is cut and good quality. It is not Chinese made. He couldn't go lower than 45 euros. And I think that's because I gave up my whole strategy of bargaining, which I probably shouldn't have done. But he said 45 euros was the, the least he was gonna go. And in pounds, I think that's about 30 something pounds. And that t shirt is not worth 30 something pounds. I don't think, at least for me. But um, hey, let's keep looking. Now, before we keep looking around, we're gonna take a quick break to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. 
Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes, from creative writing to graphic designs, photography, business, and even finance. So if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. I myself am currently watching a class by Marquez Browning called Script, Shoots, and Edit. In this class, Marquez talks about his process, going through his stages of production, from script writing to storyboarding to shooting and editing. And I found this really useful, just seeing other people's processes and learning what's worked for them. So if you wanna learn something new this year, Skillshare is the place for you. And now the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Click the link in the description to get started. All right, back to the video. I love this store already. I have no idea what they're selling. <laughs> We're just having um, Einstein <laughs> with a sleeve tattoo and Mona Lisa in Hawaii, I'm sold. I want it, whatever it is, I want it. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. Oh, can I find out the price of a room? Here is the price list. Okay, so January, February, March, November, December, single room pool. And th these are standard, they don't move. Uh, yes, that's that's it. Okay, so 40, pound, 40 euros for a single room. Yes. Double the 60. All right, so the hotel seems to have a fixed price depending on the time of year so this time of year it's around 50 euros for a single room in pounds i think that's about 40 pounds around 40 pounds for a single room which is an average price it's not cheap it's not expensive um let's find another one and compare the prices How much, is, how, how much is a room for a night? Room or a bed in door? A bed in a room. I think 11 euros. 11 euros. So I just had a look in a hostel and the cheapest bed in the room will cost you 11 euros, which is pretty standard. Um, I'd expect it to be a bit cheaper. I haven't had a look in the rooms, but 11 euros is decent. Can't go wrong. Pervilla. Oh, one topping. So the waffle is two pounds or two euros. Waffle is two euros? Three. All right, so I'm in a waffle and crepe shop and the price of a waffle is two euros for one topping. With two toppings is 250. With three toppings is three pounds. I've gone for crepe, um, two toppings for I think two euros. I'm interested to see the size of the prep compared to usual. Alright, so here is the two euro crep. I went for two toppings, which is banana and strawberry syrup. Now two euros in pounds is about one pound sixty-eight. For a crepe, which is amazingly priced, I'm happy with that. A decent sized crepe too. Now along with that, I went for a vegan ice cream for one euro fifty, which is about one pound twenty-six for one scoop of ice cream. So I've just found a public toilet, public toilet. Um, we're gonna head in, see how it looks. 
see if we need to pay to get into it or if it's just free to the public. Public toilets. Cents, I'm guessing, probably not 50 euros. Hello. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. Alright, so it was a nice and clean toilet, so I don't mind paying 50 cents for that. Hello. How are you guys? I'm great, thanks. Oh my lord, these are amazing. Oh. Wow, okay. Alright, so I found this bag, which is um, usually 120 euros. They've agreed to, I think, about 50 euros. This is hand knitted. So you can just imagine the amount of hours that's got into that. I initially came in here to like just like find out the price, but now I feel like. <laughs> found a hair salon slash barbershop um, we're gonna go in and see what the prices are like hello hello do you do you cut men's hair yes men's hair what, what's the cheapest that you cut it for what is it? how much is it it's uh, 13 euros 13 euros yes 13 yes what if it's just um the sides it's the same price, 13 euros. Okay, I like that. Thank you. All right, there you go. So a haircut in Cotor, Montenegro will cost you 13 euros, which is about 10 pounds, more or less, give or take. Um, 10 pounds is a decent haircut. Um, seen in the UK, haircuts start at probably about 15 pounds. They used to be five pounds a few years ago. <laughs> Today they're 15 pounds, can you imagine? Cost me four pound eleven pence, four euros ninety. You won't find this price anywhere, not in the UK, definitely not. For veggie burger and chips, maybe from like the local kebab shop. I think I bought one a few days ago before I came here, and it was four pound ninety nine for veggie burger and chips. So here, four pound eleven, you're saving what eighty eight p. Drinks on the other hand are a bit pricey. Two euros twenty for a bottle of Fanta, a can of Fanta. Two euros twenty. You can get this for sixty pence. Ah, sorry, or a pound. All right, so I'm still in the shopping center. I found massage chairs. 
one euro for five minutes, two euro for 10 minutes. We're gonna give that a go and see how it is. So I'm just outside the town walls and I found corn for one euro fifty, which isn't too bad. I think in Dubai or Abu Dhabi it was about five euros or five dirhams, which is one pound actually. So one euro fifty, maybe one pound twenty, one pound something like that. But yeah, there you go. Alright, so now we're looking at drinks, alcoholic drinks. How much will that set you back for a shot of maybe spirit vodka or uh, a cider, a pint, um, or even a glass of wine? Let's see the prices. Okay, so this one is draft beer for yeah. two euros, right? Uh, two euro, but it's uh, small, small. It's <laughs> a small one. 25, yeah. So three euro thirty. Yep. Three euro thirty. Two euros. Uh, yeah, and then two euro seventy. Yeah, we'll go two euro seventy. Okay, thank you. So here are spirits, vodka shot, two euros, vignac local cognac, one euro fifty. So we're gonna go with that as well. I mean, it's so cheap, you can't really complain about the taste. Thank you so much. This is our shot. Do I use salt or lemon or? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a so good there. After this, the next place we're going to evaluate is the nightlife, clubbing scenes, see what the price is to get in see what the price is for drinks when we're in and just see how the whole vibe is the ambiance the music so this is like prep for that also if you're liking this video hit the like button come on thank you so much thank you all right so we've got a shot for one euro fifty which is about one pound ten one pound twenty for a shot right okay <clears throat> I just need to figure out how this works. It's been long since I did this. I think the salt goes first. Can I uh, something ask you? Sorry? Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah it is not tequila. It's a, it is a classic uh, vignac. Uh, yeah. And okay, if you want to taste that, you taste that. Yeah. But this is a drink only... Uh, like this is just by itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so but if you want that, try you try. Maybe oh, it's a right. better. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. But you don't know. You know what it's, it's a You don't do it with this. No. Oh, okay, you know, fair no. enough. So it's not tequila. It's a vignac, and vignac you just you just back it straight. You don't do the salt and lime, but we're gonna do it anyways.
All right, so apparently there are two clubs in Kotor, and this is the best one. It's called Electrica. Um, it's on till about 12 to 1 p.m., 1 a.m. And yeah, drinks are about 4 euros for a glass, and we'll see how the night goes.